Okay, it's Saturday, April 1st, our last full day in Mexico City. Uh, I'm outside of a market called Comic Rock Show. Uh, I'm a member of a Facebook group for people who collect, collect uh, comics from outside the United States. I said, hey, I posted I'm gonna be in Mexico City. Uh, where can I go to find some really cool Spanish language comic books? Everyone said go to Comic Rock Show, that's the place to go. So that's what I'm doing here. They also have a lot of toys. I think mainly they're known for old toys. And uh, people said on the Facebook group, uh, it's not a good neighborhood, a lot of pickpockets. So I got my money in my front pocket, you know, got my Spidey sense up. And uh, I fully expect to get ripped off. Let me just say that, I fully expect to get ripped off. I may be know 20 or 30 words and phrases in Spanish. When I came to Mexico City, I only know 10, so I've improved. But you know, white guy doesn't speak Spanish. I'm fully expecting to get ripped off. I know that's part of the, situation that I'm in. And uh, I just want to find one or two things. I think it'll be fun. Um, maybe a Daredevil, maybe a Star Wars comic. That would be cool. I'm not looking for a Hulk 181 Spanish language version in a 9.8 condition, anything like that. Just whatever I can find is going to be cool. So here's what we're doing. And I'm going to try and get some video of the toys, uh, mainly to show my friend Devlin. I think he would appreciate this and kind of know what he's looking at. I don't know what I'm looking at when it comes to toys. Anyway, here we go. is bigger than I thought and way, way, way cooler than I thought. I just found a whole bunch of daredevils. It's okay, yeah. I found a whole bunch of daredevils and this cool vintage Flash Gordon in Spanish and Espanol. I had to step into this little way, uh, this little space in between two stalls just to get out of the aisle. It's so, so crowded over there. And Ron is looking for uh, some, maybe a Lego toy or maybe a Ghostbuster Nintendo game. He says the Nintendo game won't play with his system, but he just wants it because he loves Ghostbusters. And I feel a little bad. Um, I spent most of the cash. Bob has spent most of the cash. Uh, I left a lot of cash back at the Airbnb. A, because I was afraid maybe pickpockets, you know, and also I knew that if I brought extra cash, I'd spend it. I spent um, pretty much all the cash I had on the Daredevil comic books and uh, the Flash Gordon comic books and that kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, hopefully Baba has enough to get his kid one Lego toy or that Ghostbusters Nintendo game. Okay, we left. Check it out. What is this, Imran? Ghostbusters, the video game for NES. For NES. Okay. It's and really bad, but I just wanted to have it. It's just because you love Ghostbusters. Yes. Okay, so... The story here is on our first pass, as we're doing recon through the rock show, he sees this, doesn't buy it, and then he says, you know, Baba, there's only one thing I would like, it's maybe this game. So then as a good dad, I gotta go back and find it. We could not find it. It's like finding a needle in the haystack. You think they have everything, you think they have everything in this rock show, but when you're actually looking for Ghostbusters for the NES, like a very specific thing, it was kind of hard to find. We found it. I'm convinced, I'm quite convinced the guy ripped me off, but whatever. Got to be a good dad, got it for the kid. Okay, we're done, running late for lunch, that's it. Okay, this is the uh, sort of unboxing the haul to show exactly what I got. Um, this 1958 Flash Gordon collection. Um, most of the comics that this guy sold me, he wanted 100 pesos each. Uh, this Flash Gordon one from 1958, he wanted a little bit more. Uh, we also have this Daredevil uh, from 1976, a little more for that one. This Forbidden World, I haven't even opened up that one yet. And this one, uh, Commandi, I just got that because I've got a bunch of uh, copies of Commandi in really, really rough shape already, but I don't have any that are in Spanish. Then he threw in this, this is just this goofy Lucha Libre magazine from 1991. Anyway, just, you know, I like weird stuff, so the guy just threw that in. And then the, the main thing that I got were 11 uh, Daredevils. These are from... Uh, the early 1980s for the most part. And I don't know if these are the same uh, cover images, say on like, you know, Daredevil volume one, number 24. I, I somehow don't think that's the same image. Um, I'm about to look that up now. Anyway, I got 11, 11 of these. Yeah, that's what I got.